Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for all your support. I love y'all. We're looking at about 700 subscribers right now. Pretty decent. All those people who subscribed and commented, I love y'all. But today we're gonna to be talking about a safe. I'm gonna be telling y'all about why I purchased the safe. Is it a good option? Is it a bad option? Or, you know, whatever kind of fits your lifestyle. Everybody's different. People that own a house can have a safe that's, you know, fifteen, two thousand dollars $2,000 and be good to go. People who rent, move around a lot, they might need to get a, a more budget option, easily movable safe. Stay tuned, let's get it, dude. What you're looking at in all its glory is the Winchester TS-1230. So I picked this safe up from TSC Tractor Supply off the website and the showroom floor is $449. I got it at a discounted rate because of the fact that it had some scratches on it. But some specifications that we're going to talk about is it's 55 inches tall, 18 inches wide. It weighs 212 pounds. The fire protection rating is 30 minutes at 1400 degrees. It's got one inch locking bolts, electronic lock with an override key, and it's a powder coated finish, obviously from Winchester. Here you're gonna have a six digit pin, it's super easy to change. When I got it, it was one, two, three, four pound. I changed it in next to no time. Basically you take this piece off here, it's gonna take a nine volt battery. If this piece ever fails, you can actually run a key right here. You get two keys with the safe and it'll actually unlock it. We open it up. Now, this safe right here has got one inch locking bolts. Again, it's not the most impenetrable safe in the world. I imagine you could probably get this thing cracked and carried down the stairs and you know, taken off some other place and steal everything in it. But as far as a mechanism to keep my house safe, this is what I'm gonna use. It just kind of shuts and locks on the other portion of this. Don't like about it, a con about it, is when you actually lock it, it's got quite a bit of play in between the locking mechanism and the where it, it sits flush. So one thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna probably get some a better seal up here that's gonna actually sandwich the door better to the locking mechanism so there's no play in the door. With 12 guns, what are they talking about? Are they talking about pistols and rifles, long guns and everything? When you factor in optics and you factor in all those types of things, can it actually fit 12 guns? I currently have eight guns. I have a, sh a long gun shotgun, an AR pistol, and six handguns. So obviously it fits those pretty well. It looks like it can fit a lot of rifles here. I got ammunition in here, but I'm only suspecting that I'll be able to fit one or two more long guns, whether it be a shotgun or a rifle here. And then basically I'm gonna have to hang my pistols here and leave these three in their spot. So, 12 guns is relative to whatever they're trying to say. Can you actually fit 12 guns in here? Probably, as far as mixture between pistols and rifles, long guns, those types of things. But at the same time, if they have optics on them, attachments, and, and that kind of nonsense, you're probably not gonna be able to fit that in here. This is what I got set up here. I got three pistols in the door mechanism. Another con, I wish that the pistols would go all the way down. I think these zippered pouches here are kind of a waste of space. All I have in there now are magazines, some random magazines in each one. I don't really feel like they serve a purpose too much. This is the way it comes, and that's the way I'm gonna run it until I you know, get some more guns. Down here, you have two shelves. You got this, the shelf can be adjusted wherever you want. I put the shelf here because of my AR. I just recently purchased a Mossberg, so it's relatively long. So where my shelf is up top fits relatively good. I keep my pistol ammunition up top and down below I keep my 5.56223 ammo. Everything works pretty good. Now some things that I ordered from Amazon to kind of make this safe better. A lot of people don't understand that you get a safe and you have to actually purchase some accessories to make it work better. One of the first things I got was these pistol hangers. I got a six pack and they're $13.99 on Amazon. 
So I got one, two, three, four, five, and I put the sixth one down here. Hopefully I run three pistols underneath the top shelf, and I'm running my outside the waistband holsters, Safari Lane QLS holsters right here. And then down here, I have one of my inside the waistband T-Rex holsters that's just kind of dangling off this right here. Theoretically, I could run probably one, two, three more pistols over here and be good to go. But as of right now, I don't have that many pistols. So I'm running my holsters in the safe as well. So another really important purchase I feel like every safe needs is going to be a lighting system. I purchased a LED lighting system for $19.99 off Amazon. It's for closets and things like that, but it works. It's going to work well for a, a gun safe. Basically, all I did was run it on the inside all the way around the safe. And it's going to come with a portion that you actually plug into the wall and you recharge this. So there, there's no drilling in the safe and have to run a cord out the safe or anything. This is recharged in the wall. I haven't, I've only charged it one time and it's been working for about a month and a half. And the mode you have on here is auto constant on or constant off. Then you also have brightness settings, which whatever you want it to be. But as I open this safe and I start reaching in the, the light will automatically turn on. So this is an auto light setup for it's essentially for a closet or anything like that. So I'm using it for a safe. Again, it's 1999 double edged tape to the side of the safe. Once I open the safe, it turns on. So it's a pretty good setup. I think it's something that every safe needs to have right off the bat, but they don't come with them. So you have to order them. Knowing what I know now, would I purchase a safe again? Absolutely. I feel like this is an entry level safe. I'm not expecting this to be like a Fort Knox safe to where someone came into my house and they wouldn't be able to break into the safe. Honestly, they'd be able to carry the safe down the stairs, put it in the back of the truck and be good to go. The reason why I purchased this safe is to keep loved ones, small children away from firearms and ammo, being able to put all of them in there, lock it up. No one inside my house that I want inside my house would be able to, to manipulate the weapons. And another big reason why I purchased the safe is because I move every two to three years. Moving every two to three years, I didn't feel the need to buy anything that was thousands of dollars and weighs 500 plus pounds. It would just be a major pain in the ass to maneuver that from place to place to place. My plan purchasing this, this safe was once I establish a foothold where I can you know, settle down for the rest of my life, I'm going to purchase a really expensive safe, one that I've always, always wanted. And this safe will double down as a ammunition safe. I'll take the shelves out of it and I'll stack am ammo in it. I love the safe. I've had it for two months, had zero issues, issues with it. I open it about three times or four times a day. I like messing around with it, just making sure it's working. I've had zero issues with it. I don't really believe that you can go wrong with it. I think it's a good entry level safe budget option. If you all like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all. Peace.